The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. It's safe to say that you were Tea Party before Tea Party was cool, uh, Congressman Paul. And uh, we're noticing a lot of Tea Party candidates all over the country today. Is this going to be a big day for those candidates, or do you think it's, it's maybe going to be something that the incumbents will hang their hat on, like John McCain out in Arizona? Well, I think it'll be a mixed bag. And uh, I think even though, say, half of the Tea Party candidates win is a pretty big deal. But no, they're not going to win all, the, all their uh, support. You know everybody they support. So I think it'll be pretty mixed. And, uh, and let me ask you about uh, one of the races up in Alaska. Uh, Sarah Palin has weighed in, uh, throwing her weight behind the uh, challenger in that race, Joe Miller, running against, uh, uh, against uh, Senator Murkowski. And I'm just wondering, what do you make of Sarah Palin, Newt Gingrich, Mike Huckabee, some of these big-name Republicans sort of weighing in in individual races across the country? Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, I, I think a pretty good. Uh, I, I do it, but I'm very, very selective. I just have trouble finding uh, the candidates I really get enthusiastic about. I want candidates that have a, you know, a real constitutional take on foreign policy and civil liberties, the, the drug war, and also on economic matters. But no, I, I think uh, for them to weigh in, but uh, I want the people to sort all these uh, positions out so that they know exactly uh, uh, what is being supported, what positions are being supported. You don't think it's meddling for somebody like Sarah Palin to go in to a contest like the one up in Alaska and, and throw her, her weight behind uh, the challenger there, or perhaps in another state like Georgia? Uh, where she, she did get no. criticized somewhat for doing that down in Georgia. No, I wouldn't call it meddling. I think our presidents uh, have done this for uh, many, many decades, if not ever since the beginning of time, the beginning of our country. So, no, I think, I think it's pretty traditional to do it. Maybe some people do overdo it and uh, exaggerate and do it just to build up, uh, you, you know, chips and uh, get people to support them later on. But, you no, know, I, I wouldn't use the word meddling, but uh, sometimes I, get, uh, I guess they get overly involved uh, more than they should. Well, let me ask you about one of the issues that's co come up uh, during a lot of these contests all over the country, and that's the uh, proposed Islamic Center and Mosque near Ground Zero. Uh, you came out uh, very much uh, in favor of that project, uh, mainly along libertarian lines, uh, saying that uh, you know property rights and free freedom of religion rights uh, are a big part of this. And on your blog, you wrote uh, that uh, that opposition to the to the mosque is all about hate and Islamophobia. What did you mean about that? I think the people who are organizing that is one thing, but now that every candidate gets asked that question, I don't think you can put them all in that same category. But the organizers, uh, the woman that put this out on her webpage and the people that picked up on it and preached this, yes, I think that uh, they want to continue the hatred toward Islam rather than Al-Qaeda in order to justify their foreign policy of intervention and nation building and occupation. Because if you don't have an enemy that you despise, it's hard uh, to get that support. But, you know, I think it's turned into another issue as well. Uh, even your station has reported on this, Iman, and he seems like a pretty reasonable person. So if he's a reasonable person that worked for Bush as, as well as Obama, uh, and he's making inroads because he's trying to bring Christians, Jews, and Muslims together. So if, if that would happen, there wouldn't be as much hatred over there. So I think uh, maybe there are some now uh, that are trying to, you know, destroy him and his reputation. And I think that's going to backfire. It sounds to me, and I don't know the individual, uh, the Iman, but it sounds to me like he might be a very reasonable person. So in order to perpetuate this foreign policy, not only yeah. do they have to perpetuate uh, the hate toward Islam, they have to really destroy somebody who might be bringing the religious uh, factors together. And what do you have to say about uh, former uh, House Speaker Newt Gingrich uh, comparing this uh, mosque near Ground Zero uh, to uh, having uh, Nazi uh, symbols outside of the Holocaust uh, Center? Uh, wh what did you think of that? Was that an appropriate comment, do you think? Well, I think he's overstepped his bounds uh, and that I think he'll suffer the consequences for it because it was over the top. 
uh, I mean, to compare this Iman with Hitler, uh, and the fact that there are mosques within that area already, and uh, that he ignores the fact that there are strip joints in this area, and he has to go after an Iman that is trying to bring people together. Yeah, I think uh, for a bright guy like uh, Newt Gingrich on uh, some of the issues, uh, I would say politically uh, he's made a major mistake. You think you should apologize for that comment? I don't believe in these apology games. I mean, he's going to have to apologize to himself. He's going to be sorry, but being sorry about what he did and recognize it will be a much bigger deal than if the media comes and badgers him into making a public apology. What but uh, maybe he'll come around to that, but it should be spontaneous and earnest, but not as a, not as a reaction to badgering by the media. When are you going to apologize? Right. I, I've never quite thought that was good. What about your son, Rand Paul, who's running for that uh, Senate seat? down in Kentucky. Uh, he's taken a slightly different position uh, than you and uh, has, has essentially come out against the project. Is that causing any friction in the Paul yeah, family? I, uh, no, matter of <laughs> fact, I really haven't spoken to him about it, but I think he's in the category of uh, most of the people who are running for office who get pushed, uh, you know, and rightfully so, by their opposition or by the media and say, what is your position? Do you want it or not? And, I mean, he's taken a, a, a different position, but uh, that isn't my concern as much as those people who started on the website and picked it up and the politician who's trying to gain a lot of points, and they are the activists in promoting this mainly because because they believe in intervention foreign policy and they want to uh, make sure that Islam is blamed rather than Al Qaeda. Yeah. And so, yes, I, I think uh, there's, there's, it's okay to have a disagreement on exactly what we should do with the mosque. Matter of fact, my, my emphasis is not on should the mosque be built or shouldn't it be built. My, that is very secondary. Everybody recognizes on private property and a place of, place of worship. Uh, Your problem is more the playing of politics. So you, you, you feel that there's a Somebody's playing. People are folk, people are playing politics with this. Is what you're essentially saying. What about the president? Did he make a mistake <laughs> weighing in on this controversy? Do you think? Did he inflame this controversy by weighing in on it? Uh, you know, some people are saying that, especially on the conservative side. But actually, I didn't think his statement was all that bad. I thought it was conciliatory and trying to bring people together. I mean, he he and Bush both hired uh, uh, the Iman to go over and promote. Uh, uh, bringing the religious uh, factors together. So now I I wouldn't go out of my way to condemn him for saying that. Now politically he may have stirred the flames, you know, and because that just gave more ammunition uh, to the, the to the conservatives who uh, like to pick anything he says and make make a political issue out of it. But I don't think it's the right one. I'd rather pick issues like too much spending and why he's expanding the war in Afghanistan. But yeah. since too many conservatives like the expansion of the war in Afghanistan, uh, you know, they're they are willing to go and attack him because uh, he might uh, send a message that they disagree with. But no, I don't think his statement was all that bad.